Let's go through one simple numerical example. The question is find the potential difference across all resistors in the circuit given below. We have given a simple electrical circuit consists of two voltage source, 10 volt, 5 volt connected as shown, and three loads or resistors 10 ohm, 8 ohm, and 2 ohm. All of them are connected together to form a closed loop. Before going through the problem, we have to carefully understand the sign convention that needs to be applied for the voltage sources and resistors which I have been explained earlier. Initially, this is a closed circuit. So, firstly, we have to assume the direction of current. A direction of current will flow through the closed circuit and we have to let assume the direction of current be clockwise. That is, this is the direction of current I. Then by considering the voltage loop, we have to first consider the closed loop and we have to write the mesh equation corresponding to the closed loop. So I am starting from the voltage source on the leftmost point that is a 10 volt source. I will move in such a clockwise direction. I will move in a clockwise direction and the first element I encountered is a 10 volt voltage source and I move from the negative terminal to positive terminal of the 10 volt voltage source. So since I move from the negative terminal to positive terminal, there is a rise in potential. We know that the rise in potential should assign a positive sign. So I write voltage as 10 volt. I am going to write the mesh equation corresponding to this closed mesh based on Kirchhoff's voltage law. That is, Kirchhoff's voltage law states that in a closed mesh, the algebraic sum of potential drops and uh, potential drops and uh, EMF in a closed circuit is equal to 0. Therefore, I write 10. And the next, when I move in clockwise direction, the next element I encountered is a 10 ohm resistance. Therefore, that from the 10 ohm resistance, I am moving in a clockwise direction and the direction of current is also in the clockwise direction. So, I am writing the direction of current from the left point to right point. Therefore, there is a fall in potential. So, I have to write the potential drop as negative. That is negative. The potential drop in the 10 ohm resistance is according to ohm's law i into r that is the current flow multiplied by r I into 10 again the next resistance 8 ohm here also the current and the direction of action is same so i have to write a negative sign for the voltage drop therefore i write 8 i similarly for the next element the current direction of current and direction of action that is the direction in which we are writing the equation is same therefore we have to assign a negative sign for the voltage drop therefore i am writing i into r that is 2 into i and the next element i encountered is another voltage source and when i move along the direction of here the sign assigned to this voltage source is independent of direction of flow of current and depend upon only on the direction of action that is the direction in which we are writing the equation here i am writing the equation in the clockwise direction so initially i move from the positive terminal to the negative terminal and since i move from the positive terminal to negative terminal there is a fall in potential that is positive to negative there is a fall in potential so i have to assign a positive sign sorry I have to assign a negative sign for that voltage source that is minus 5 volt then I move along the circuit in this direction and I did not I didn't encounter any other element and I reached again the starting point so this is a complete mesh equation and this is equal to 0 according to the voltage law the algebraic sum of EMF and potential drop across various resistors in a closed circuit is equal to 0 here there is only one mesh equation and there is only one unknown that is a current I Therefore, we have to determine the current I and from solving the equation, we can represent that is 5 minus 20 I is equal to 0 and current I is equal to 0 0.25 amperes. Therefore, the current 0 0.25 ampere is flowing through the circuit. And I have also received the direction of current 0 0.25 as positive 0 0.25. So, it states that my assumption is correct and current is flowing in the clockwise direction. The net direction of flow of current is clockwise direction in the circuit and it is 0 0.25 ampere. Next, and then go through our question. Our question is to find the potential difference across all the resistors in a circuit in the circuit given below therefore i have to determine the potential drop that is drop in potentials in the 10 ohm resistor 8 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor therefore i have to determine the potential drop across sorry the potential drop across potential drop across 
10 ohm resistor we have to potential drop is equal to i into corresponding r that is equal to 0 0.25 into corresponding r resistance that is 10 that is equal to 2.5 volt again potential difference across 8 ohm resistor is equal to i into corresponding r that is i is equal to 0 0.25 the same current flow to all the elements in a closed mesh into resistance is equal to 8 and that is equal to 2 volt again potential drop across 2 ohm resistor is equal to i into r that is equal to 0 0.25 into 2 that is equal to 0 0.5 volt therefore these are the potential drop across all the three resistors in a circuit given below from this also we can verify that to choose voltage law that is algebraic sum of the potential drops algebraic sum of the potential drops is equal to 2.5 plus 2 plus 0.5 that is equal to 4.5 plus 0.5 that is equal to 5 volt and 5 volt which is also equal to the algebraic sum of the emf that is 10 volt minus 5 volt algebraic sum 10 volt and 5 volt are connected in opposition therefore the algebraic sum is equal to 10 volt minus 5 volt therefore 5 volt is equal to 5 volt therefore which of flow can also be verified therefore this is a simple example of a writing the mesh equation and also solving the uh, solving for the value of current flowing through the circuit and from that we can determine the potential difference across all the resistor elements connected in the circuit similarly we can also calculate the power consumed by different elements by using the equation i square r thank you